been working my whole life, really, in transforming the way kids learn. I had an incredible good fortune to be married to an extraordinary man who was brilliant, a visionary, humble, funny. He was also a young man who was thrown out of a very prestigious school in the 11th grade because he had a problem reading and spelling. And of course, back in that day, they didn't know what dyslexia was and they thought he was stupid. And that may have been a small one for Neil, but that's a long one for me. He ended up flying four flights in space. We've got an aperture in the classroom that is focused on the wrong subject. And that subject is complacency, test taking, measurement tools. And what it ignores is the power of these young minds to actually solve challenges. The Conrad Challenge gives students this amazing ability to show their stuff. The students that tend to do our program are students that are somehow not quite satisfied with the education that they're currently getting. They want something more, something more challenging, something that they direct. I've been in education for 20 years. I thought I had heard everything and heard every pitch and hers was different. So um, I took it back to my team and encouraged them to invest in the Conrad Summit. We moved the lens to the consumer of education. And who is the consumer of education? That would be the students. There is nothing in the world like the Conrad Challenge, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And the reason I say that is because the emphasis in the Conrad Challenge is on the curiosity piece. The emphasis in the Conrad Challenge is about preparing you for being in a mindset to create, for being in a mindset to ask questions. The setting being here at the Kennedy Space Center just sets the, the perfect setting. It's such an amazing environment of inspiration and awe and it just sets the perfect tone for the, for the presentations around uh, transformation and change. We love to create this artificial distinction between play and work. Bro, this is so cool! And I think it's far better to think of life as, as play, and actually the great super entrepreneurs are the same, you know, they play with stuff. Some would say it's naivety, uh, but it's a conscious naivety that actually creates the future, right? JFK, with his speech. The way we grow our particular effort is very focused on community. Good morning, everybody. Did you guys have fun last night? Social impact on learning how to learn and how to think and designing their own future. Today is all about collaboration, storytelling. They're getting their technical knowledge and their emotional intelligence that are both increasing together rather than having a really intelligent kid that no one wants to work with. Um, so they're learning to work with others and solve problems while also uh, highly increasing their technical knowledge. When you bring a bunch of young people into the room that really um, look up and, and see just stars and don't see any limits, the kinds of solutions that you come up with are innovative, they're creative, they're out of the box and they make you just sit back in the judge's seat and go, wow. <laughs> We know all the no's, the kids don't know the no's yet. So they're actually coming up with brilliant ideas that no one said no to yet. And we're certainly not gonna say no, we're gonna say, yeah, go for it. Unlike any other extinguisher on the market today, SAFE utilizes sound waves to extinguish wildfires. They come here having built convolutional neural networks. They come here uh, having physical hardware prototypes that have actuators and move objects from one place to another. We use AI with deep machine learning to optimize recycling. They don't know that as 17-year-olds and 16-year-olds are not supposed to be doing the kinds of things that they're doing. The Conrad Challenge for me was a transformational experience because it really served as the first step for me on my entrepreneurial journey. And the fact that I had it at the age of 17 was immensely valuable. I'm a kid from South Korea, didn't really have too much of a background, taught myself English. The biggest takeaway that I had from Conrad wasn't the grand prize, but the amount of confidence that the competition gave me. The fact that people value 
my ideas when I was like 16 years old. They're making you actually consider the market share and how are you going to market it and how are you going to sell it and who's going to buy it and is there really a place for it out there? Yeah. And how are you going to really get cool. investment? Yeah. Is that something that I had no clue about? They're comfortable in their own skin. They have presentation skills. They know how to make videos. They know how to tell stories. They know how to sell. We can have both femininity and coding smarts. That sets us apart from those other games. In terms of real world application, it's a lot bigger than just, I don't know, winning a prize or a medal or a trophy. Like, it's, it's something substantial. It's super inspiring just listening to all these, like, young entrepreneurs talking about their new ideas. And I just feel so much more, like, invigorated and excited to, like, make a change in the world. Sitting in that room, it's humbling and it is inspirational and helps me maintain a, an optimistic perspective. You can't help but feel like, you know, we're going to be OK, because the future's in the hands of some really capable young people. What excites me is, is the, um, just the, the deep thought that these kids put into it, um, and knowing that you know, they're going to be in the workforce soon, um, and it'll be one of my colleagues, uh, and be able to work with a, you know, a bunch of smart, passionate, uh, young folk this is unreal yeah, like yeah. this is so exciting and i just can't wait to see where where we take this yeah i think this is just the start for us and i i'm excited to see where we go i mean the dream was to impact these kids for the rest of their lives everyone from all over the world and we all just united and we all just felt this sense of connection with each other i thought that was just such a unique experience our, our company tagline is actually nrx systems and we say that we engineer beyond imagination but actually the contract challenge is beyond imagination every year when i come to summit i just get like this whole injection of hope because these kids are really killing it and it's it's exciting to me to see how it's evolved and what they've evolved into it's just been extraordinary yeah!